worst couples ever. Wait till I show our Steve this. Oh yeah, you friend, because I'm always cocking my leg over my best mate, aren't I? What is going on guys, Shot Clips here once again, and this is where I show some wild clips of the worst couples I can find. Now like what my favorite clip will be at the end, so make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. But in this first one guys, it is definitely not good either, and this boyfriend definitely got his ego checked. Apparently he was lying maybe in front of his girlfriend that, that this car was his when it doesn't belong to him, it actually belongs to the guy who's recording. I don't know why his girlfriend was defending him or backing him up for his lies, that's absolutely pathetic. Well, check out the end of the clip, it's absolutely insane. He really tried it. Huh? I'm just recording the car bro. Yep. Okay, Pretty nice car, man. Yo, why are you stepping on my car? What's up, about? Get off my car. Stop the cap. <laughs> What's up, about? Get off my car. What's why are you about? recording? Ooh, where are we now? Yo, this is my car. What do you mean? Yeah, it is. Is this car? Yeah, it's you my car. You off. said it was. That's crazy. Yo, cause yo, this, yo, chill. Because this is daddy's car. Wait, you said you better back up. <laughs> I'm sorry. This ain't his car, but... That's crazy. And this next one, this guy, I guess, woke up to see his girlfriend recording him while he's with another girl. This was his reaction. Caught with your side piece. In this next one, I guess this guy decides to question these two girls, what's wrong with modern day relationships? They decide to say men are. Literally just men. No other reason, no other answer. And when this guy decides to question them more about it, this was their response. What do you think the issue is with modern dating? Men. Yeah, men. <laughs> In what ways? I just think they're immature. I think they were born that way. Give me an example. Like she said, immature. In what ways? They get dramatic and sensitive over stupid things. Give me an example. You're speaking in general terms right now. I don't know, like if you're just like basic, like with a text, then they get all dramatic about it. Give me an example. Also, if you're a 28-year-old and going to college bars banging 20-year-olds, I, I think that's your issue right oh, there. Oh, God. <laughs> Facts. Okay. What I just said. What sure. she said. In this next one, I guess this guy and this girl are on the show where if they press the buzzer, they're out and they don't like talking to each other anymore. It's like for some relationship thing. She just has to bring astrology into the conversation. And let me just say, he didn't like that at all. To be honest, I don't think anybody cares about that anymore. Time. I'm a Capricorn. God damn it. Where's the button? Nope. Mm, nope. That's all that happens for me ever. I'm grounded. That's all I know. Yeah, that's what you guys all say. <laughs> Ooh. Why did you reject Izzy? If you're gonna like cut me off just because of my sign, it's not someone who I necessarily want to. And this next one, this guy does not know how to get rejected. Basically, I guess he asked a girl who was walking for a number. She said no. So this guy decides to do the stupidest thing ever, which is getting a shopping cart and ram it into her car. Man, this is not how you handle rejection. And ladies, I am so sorry this happened. Got denied and does this. Yes. You, man, what's up? Can I get your number? Nah, I'm good. Thank you. You got a man? You single? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. No, I'm good. Snapchat? Nah, you can go. Twitter? Twitter? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. What's up, man? What you doing? Yo, I'm good. I can't talk to you? I'm good. You well, can go. Up? Come on, man. We over here going to Walmart. What's going on? Yeah, I'm good. All right, can I come check the doggy? Nah, you, you can go. Is your car right here? What the fuck? Is your car right here? Is this white car? Yeah. Is your car? Yes, car. All right. So Instagram? Yo, you can go. Phone number? You can go. I hate being a girl. Is your car right here, right? And this next one, this guy literally almost lost his relationship, all because I guess he decides to question his girl why she doesn't go to the gym. He didn't mean in a wrong way. I guess he just wants to go to the gym with his girlfriend, you know? It's just like a cool activity they can both do. And while I guess she doesn't understand anything he was saying, and she took everything the wrong way. But this guy was definitely digging a hole for himself. Gym? I don't like going to the gym. I you, like having- Oh my god, it's not about liking going to the gym. Okay, why are you trying something... to make me Melinda, go to the gym? You got something to Melinda. tell me? Imagine if you got a little bit tighter and a little bit stronger. You know what I'm saying? Like, like look at me. Like, look, look how I look now. Like, my stomach isn't protruding out as much as it used to, you know? Yours, no, I'm not saying yours is. It, it's not about me, it's about me. You're perfect. You're perfect. But I'm just saying, like, chat. You go to the gym, it helps boost your mental health. I'm not saying your mental health is bad. And this next one, I guess this guy is in interviewing these two girls who immediately decided to question him how much he would charge to get with them. And I guess he was interested in that question because he has a girlfriend. And I, I don't know, I don't think these girls like that answer. How much would you pay to f 
both of us. How much would I pay to have sex with both of you? Yeah. Individually or at the same time? At the same time. Uh, I wouldn't do that. I have a lovely girlfriend. He's Are you walking away? What if you didn't have a girlfriend? If I didn't have a girlfriend, I probably wouldn't pay any amount of money. But then we wouldn't. Yeah, that's okay. In this next one, I'm not sure how this happened, but this woman was accidentally given a dose of testosterone, and I guess throughout the week, she just felt like a man. And by that, I mean, like, her hormones were that of it, meaning, like, anytime she, like, looked at somebody, she would get a huge flush or wave of emotion. You guys can kind of understand where I'm getting at, but she decides to give her view on the entire experience, and I'm like, finally, someone understands us. Oh my god, I've got a man's amount of testosterone in me today. This is wild. And I was like, if I had to deal with this every day... I don't know. I think women actually should just get prescribed a man's amount of testosterone for like a week and just like yeah. walk through society feeling that turned on, feeling that level of like, holy shit, that's what it's like to have a man's amount of sex. And I think if women understood that, they'd be like, whoa. And I think every man should go to a gay club and just like dance with a bunch of gay guys and know what it feels like to have a bunch of people objectify you and like look at you as an object that like they could they could possess in this next one i don't know why this woman decided to do this i thought this was like actually joking but she's not she decided to i guess give her expectations of what she wants from a man while they're dating and stuff and well this was her criteria all i'm saying is if you want a high valued man you should also try to become a high valued woman but yeah that's pretty much it just check out the clip and you guys let me know your thoughts here are a list of things i expect men to pay for if we're dating um, number one, all dates. And I don't mean dinner dates. I mean kayaking, snorkeling, going to theme parks, zip lining, etc. I expect a man to pay for all that. Number two, my nails. I get my nails done uh, roughly once a month. They, you know, that's pretty good for me. So I expect him to pay that. Number three, my hair. Um, I just feel like as your girl, I should just not walk around with my hair looking crazy and you should pay for it. Number four, gas. I just think that that's just like the masculine thing to do is to make sure that my gas is always on full. Number five, wax. Um, I feel like that's pretty much self-explanatory. Like you should just pay for my wax. It's, yeah. Number six, my electric bill. Chances are if we're dating, you're probably going to spend a lot of time in my house, which is going to cause my power to go up. And so you should just pay for it. Let me know what y'all think. And this next one, I guess this guy decides to question this girl, her past relationships and how they ended. Apparently, she doesn't like guys who are too much into her. To be honest, I think she's just absolutely toxic. I don't think she deserves a real relationship. What? Have you ever had a boyfriend? I have. Do you ever dump that fool? All of them. All of them? I've dumped every one of them. You dumped every one of your boyfriends? Yeah. Are you proud about that? Yes. That's I've never been broken up with. That's the never girls that be. I live for. So why'd you dump all of them? They were all way more obsessed with me than I was with them. Oh, okay. And I didn't so, like it. Yeah. Yeah, classic giving was, you too much attention. Yeah, it was gross for They me. probably tried to like share their feelings with you too. Yeah, it's like, stop. I don't yeah, want to hear that. What are you guys thinking? What are you, what are you, what are your thoughts? Guys, it's 2018, come on. And this next one, I guess this guy just has to question these two couples about if they would cheat on their girlfriend or snitch on their best friend. This was the outcome. I actually think this guy might have ruined their relationship. How long have you two been together? 10 months. 10 months? That's good. Is he a good boyfriend? Mm -hmm. Okay, so are you a good friend as well? Uh huh. A good friend? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So would you rather cheat on your girlfriend or snitch on your boys? <laughs> and if you snitch, they go in prison. They're watching right now, I was over though, and she's watching you. Uh, bro, can't lie. Might have to cheat on the girl. Would, would you be calm with that? Would you understand that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. So, so he's allowed to cheat to save his friends? Yeah, because I cheat on him to save mine. Oh, okay. So, so. That's a red flag right there, bruv. And I found my favorite clip on the list. There was this guy. I guess he caught his best friend's girlfriend out with another guy. And he decides to record the entire thing. I feel like she decided to, like, deny everything. And when the guy asks, who are you, to the other guy, you can see this guy stutter. And clearly, these two were not best friends. They were actually something more. She decides to flip out at the end of the clip. Just check this out. It's absolutely insane. There you go. Like, over. Oh, Josh. I f***ing caught you. I caught you. Wait till I show our Steve this. Oh yeah, your friend. I'm always cocking my leg over my best mate, aren't I? Here it is, Steve. There she is. Oh, hold on a minute, Jazz. Hold on a sec. What? What? Now. Hey, come on, lad. I hope you've got some nunchucks in that bag. Can you just go away? Like, what you actually doing? Him of all people, Jazz. Him of all people. It looks like you robbed Space Invaders from local. Jazz, what have you done this for? I'm not doing what have you done? I knew you were doing it. I'm not actually doing anything. Oh, I'm been me. Mate, mate, mate. She, she's, she, she, she's with my brother. She's with a brother of mine. I don't know if you knew that lie. Well, you don't no, look I'm like you knew it. Did he know it? 
Yeah. yeah. Friends. You look. What are your friends? Are you friends? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, he f***ing looks like it as well, doesn't he? Is he? My friend. I f***ing oh, got you. I've been wet. My problem is. Well, that's it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.